Hello guys, welcome back to Pitet Chemistry channel. So in this lecture tutorial series, the second of these balancing chemical equations, I'll show you a couple of examples of um, basically continuing what we had said in the previous lecture tutorials. Um, of course, based on what we have learned, we know that we cannot change, we cannot change any number uh, that belongs to the actual formula unit of that particular compound. So for example, here we have sodium. Sodium is a metal, it's a group 1 metal. It exists as Na on its own. It's not molecular, it's simply existing as an element, which is single type of atoms, even though the giant metallic structure will consist of cations suspended in a sea of delocalized valence electron. Chlorine, chlorine does not exist as just Cl because we know about structure and bonding. Chlorine being in group 7, it has got 7 outer shell electrons. It will share one of its 7 outer shell electrons in order to get up to 8 fully filled outer shell electrons for each of the chlorine, which of course you know from your dot and cross, uh, which I'm just gonna refresh your memory a little bit here. So 2, 4, 6, 7. Don't forget that when you draw dot and cross, you have to show all the outer shell electrons. So it exists as Cl2. When you see chlorine and E as an element, it exists as Cl2. And of course, sodium chloride, it has a giant ionic structure. It's uh, the most important case study, I guess. The simplest one that you must know as well. So Na plus Cl minus. So, you know, group 1 metal forms the plus 1 cations in order to get to a fully filled outer shell electrons. And this is chlorine. Chlorine atom has 7 outer shell electrons. Now, it forms the chloride ion. It will have 2, 8, 7 configuration. This one will have 2, 8 configuration, which is the noble gas configuration for neon. This is the noble gas, hang on, 2, 8, 8 because you already gained one electrons, it's the noble gas configuration of argon. So Na plus Cl minus, the plus one cancel the minus one charge, I just need one of each. Now, we cannot change the number, the subscript number at the bottom, because that will change the identity of our compound or the identity of our element based on structure and bonding. What we can change when we balance chemical equation is to change the number in front so if you look very carefully you have two chlorine here so because one molecule of this one molecule of these has two chlorine atoms in one molecule you have two chlorine atoms here in one NaCl you only have one Na and one Cl so you need two of the Cl so I'll put two NaCl remember what the number in front actually means two NaCl actually means NaCl NaCl so you actually have two Na and two Cl. The two Cl is already balanced out, but I still only have one Na. I cannot put a two at the bottom there because Na is a sodium metal. It does not exist as a molecule. So instead I put number two in front and I'll get two Na, two of the chlorine, two of the Na because one times two is two Na. Two in front means two of this unit. I don't always have to write this out like this. When you are familiarized with this system, 2 NaCl means 2 of these, so 2 times 1 is 2 Na, balance with this. 2 times 1 is 2 Cl, balance with 1 times 2, which is 2 chlorine on the uh, left hand side as well. So, balancing equation, check that you got the correct formula to identify with the substances, check that equations are balanced left and right, count, count, and count. All right, the next thing. This is methane. Methane is your case study in, uh, I think, 11 or 12 uh, covalent molecules, simple covalent molecules that you are expected to draw, that I show you from the syllabus, which, you know, Cambridge told you in advance. So it's not like they are lying to you. So oxygen, oxygen exists as this diatomic molecule, doubly bonded oxygen atom, because group 6 has got 6 valence electrons, they form, they share 2 electrons with its neighboring oxygen, so that they get up to fully fill outer shell. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is another simple molecule, it's stated in the syllabus. Water vapor, water vapor is just uh, H2O as a gas, so it's just plus H2O. All right, so now in terms of balancing this equation, we have 
let's see the first the easiest thing to do is if i put a one in front that means there's one carbon there's one carbon here so i don't want to change the number in front the carbon is balanced if i look at the hydrogen there's four hydrogen atom if i have one of these one times four so four hydrogen atoms one in front would mean one times two only two hydrogen atoms so i want to make it two h2o because two h2o means what it means is h2o and h2o so all together i'll have four hydrogen atom two times two hydrogen atom would balance the four hydrogen atom on the left but in doing so i now have two of these molecule i now have two oxygen from here from two of these and i i have a uh, two more oxygen from one molecule of co2 so altogether i have one times two which is two oxygen plus two times one which is another two oxygen so altogether i have on the right hand side four oxygen two from here two from here four oxygen atoms on the right hand side this is a o2 molecule oxygen so this is two already two times one give me two i want four because I want to balance the four oxygen atoms on the right. So I put a number two in front. Two times two give me four oxygen atoms that will balance out the two oxygen and the two oxygen. Four oxygen atoms on the right, four oxygen atoms on the left. All right. I'll go a little bit faster now. But this one is a bit tricky because we did not complete, well, I didn't give it completely uh, the product. But this is a metal. I hope you can see that it's a group two metal. And then this is an acid. Metal plus acid will give you metal salt. If you start from hydrochloric acid, you will get the chloride salt, the metal salt. Magnesium is the metal. The chloride salt comes from the acid. And you will also get hydrogen gas. So this is the classic use of that general word equation, which I covered in the last lecture tutorial towards the end. Metal plus acid give you metal salt plus hydrogen gas. Now, I have magnesium as a metal, so it says Mg. HCl is the formula for hydrochloric acid. Magnesium chloride between a metal, group 2 metal, and the group 7 uh, non-metal. I will have Mg2 plus Cl minus. Mg2 plus Cl minus. So you can imagine that you need one of these and two of the chloride to balance out the charges. If you do the cross multiply by cross multiplying the value on the charges based on what we did in the previous lecture tutorials the one before on getting chemical formula i hope that will make sense to you hydrogen exists as h2 gas at room temperature and pressure to balance the equation now we can see that from the correct formula you get two cl you only have one of the cl here because it's one and one molecule so to get two cl i need two here then I'll have two of this HCl. It means I have HCl and HCl. So altogether, I have two times one hydrogen. So two times one hydrogen, two times one Cl, so two chlorine. And I have two chlorine there. Magnesium and magnesium is balanced. So that equation is just all right there. Zinc plus sulfuric acid. So this is another classic uh, metal plus acid. I'll get zinc sulfate zinc sulfate plus hydrogen so this is probably what you're thinking in your head in terms of a uh, word equation so zinc is a transition metal well it is in that in that series i better retract myself okay you will see in a level zinc is actually not considered part of transition metal and uh, we'll cover this uh, when we come to transition metal chemistry actually but zinc is in that uh, middle bit of the periodic table so zinc plus sulfuric acid Gotta know the formula of sulfuric acid H2SO4, and that's how you get zinc sulfate. The zinc forms Zn2 plus cations, and then you have SO4 2 minus N ion. So the plus 2 and the minus 2, where you bring down the value of the charges, not the charges itself, the value of the charges, not the charge itself. So 2 and 2 can be simplified into 1 and 1. So it means you have one of the zinc 2 plus and one of the SO4 2 minus. So the formula is ZnSO4 plus H2. This equation is balanced out just nicely. This is a perfect example of thinking about there is one SO4 unit. So I haven't put the charges or anything there, but there's one of this SO4 unit and there is also one of this SO4 unit. Uh, what's going on there? 
Uh, there's also one of these SO4 unit on the right hand side as you can see one is to one ratio for the zinc sulfate formula so that equation is just balanced nicely there next one this is a metal carbonate plus acid so you will get the metal salt which is the sodium nitrate and then this is a carbonate plus acid you will get carbon dioxide if i write it in words just to be consistent with uh, whatever we have done for the other one and you get water as well so in terms of um, what the formula is going to be sodium is Na plus carbon is a CO3 2 minus so I hope you can see very very easily we are not bringing down the charges we're bringing down the value on the charges so what this means is I have two of the Na plus I have one of the CO3 2 minus so I get Na2CO3 and then you add it with nitric acid the formula of which is HNO3 and then sodium nitrate nitrate anion is NO3 minus so I get Na plus NO3 minus the formula of carbon dioxide CO2 and water is H2O there's a reason why you have to do the structure and bonding of these molecules why you have to learn the chemical formulas uh, prior or before you come to balancing chemical equation if you struggle with the names and the formula of the ions the formula of the compounds you wouldn't be able to do balancing equation at all because you'll be missing a few key ingredients a few key pieces in this um, jigsaw puzzle so you gotta always work on your weaknesses before you want to do anything uh, further this equation is not balanced you have got two sodium here because it's one in front so you got two na you only have one na here the easiest thing is to put the two in front so now you have got two of the whole unit when i put the two in front i have two of the sodium that get balanced out but i also have no3 i have two of the no3 but in my HNO3 I only have one of the NO3 so what I can do is I cannot change the number at the bottom but I can put the two in front so it means I have HNO3 and also another HNO3 which will give me two of the NO3 that's how you balance this kind of polyatomic units very very quickly as mentioned in the last lecture tutorial which you will have watched before you come to this lecture tutorial okay so the next thing is this CO2 comes from the carbonate so you got one of the carbonate will give you one of the CO2 but you got extra oxygen because CO3 going to CO2 you have one extra oxygen that gives you the oxygen here and you got two hydrogen because the two NO3 goes to the two NO3 the two hydrogen there goes to the two hydrogen there so it's just one one and one there okay so this question is balanced now you can check it again if you want to or you can move on and try other examples of your choices the next example is uh, given to you so zinc plus copper 2 sulfate copper 2 it means copper 2 plus SO4 2 minus I hope you can see the formula is going to be CuSO4 you get one and one of these in the simplest ratio because the charges balance out so copper to sulfate CuSO4 a very important case study that you will come across uh, later on <coughs> excuse me so you got that sulfate unit one of the sulfate unit one of the SO4 so this is just uh, trying to show you that you know you can see the sulfate unit you have one of it and one of it here so they get balanced out the zinc and the zinc one of it the copper and the copper one of it so this equation is nice and easy to balance just like that g and h so what we have here is hydrochloric acid and a sodium hydroxide this is a metal hydroxide is what you call an alkali alkali whatever you call it alkali alkali um, what you will get is you will get a salt a metal salt by the way the metal is sodium the salt come from the acid which is a chloride salt because you start from hydrochloric acid so you will end up with sodium chloride and then this is acid plus base 
the acid has a pH of below 7, the base or the hydroxide has a pH of above 7. So what you will get is you will get water, water of which the pH is 7 and the sodium chloride is just neutral and therefore this is reaction is called neutralization reaction. This is very common in practical chemistry as well as uh, they like to ask you what type of reaction or state the name of the reaction. Formula of hydrochloric acid is HCl. Formula of sodium hydroxide, so you have Na plus, a group 1 metal, and you have hydroxide, which is OH minus ions, so NaOH in a 1 to 1 ratio, sodium chloride, a case study, Na plus Cl minus giant ionic structure, something that you should never ever forget, all right? You got one chlorine and one chlorine, you got one sodium and one sodium, you got one H and two H, and you got one oxygen. The two there doesn't refer to the oxygen, it refers to the hydrogen. So it means two of the hydrogen, one from here, one from here, one of the oxygen from there. This equation is nice and balanced just like that. The next one is sulfuric acid. Again, it's an acid. It's a hydroxide. So again, you have this neutralization reaction. So acid plus base will give you a metal salt, and this metal salt happen to be called sodium sulfate. This is your salt consisting of a cation and an anion. So what we have now is you have sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, plus NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide, and sodium sulfate. When you think about the formula of sodium sulfate, Na plus for sodium ion, sulfate, SO42 minus, so plus 1 minus 2. When we cross multiply, we are doing LCM, actually we are doing lowest common multiple, which is why we do not cross multiply the charges, we do not cross multiply the ions, we cross multiply the value, the value, the number, minus 2, the number or the value is 2, plus 1, the number or the value is 1, so what that actually means is, you need 2 of the Na+, plus, so I just write like that, and you need 1 of the SO42-. minus. As you could see, the charges balance out, plus 1 plus 1 is plus 2, and you just need 1 of these to balance out the plus 2, because it's minus 2, so the formula of sodium sulfate is just Na2SO4, just like that. And the formula of water is just H2O, and by looking at this, you can see that there's 2 sodium, because of the formula, based on the giant ionic structure, we cannot change the number at the bottom, so two sodium there, but only one sodium is sodium hydroxide. So I put a two in front. So in doing so, um, my sulfate is still one of the unit. You can imagine the sulfate is still one unit because the number in front is one. And you still have SO4, the number is just one there because it's just one in front. So you still have one of the sulfate. But now you have two hydrogen from here and you have two hydrogen from there and you only have two hydrogen. And this will give you two oxygen, you only have one oxygen. Remember the oxygen here is already balanced out with the sulfate from there. So the oxygen here is just one, but now you have two of the OH minus. So I'll get two H2O, which will give me four hydrogen and two oxygen. Two hydrogen plus two hydrogen give me four hydrogen. Two of the oxygen and two of the oxygen. The sulfate is already balanced out. The number in front tells you how many NaOH you have. 2 NaOH means you have NaOH and NaOH like that. You have two times of it. Okay, so I hope that makes sense there. Better wrap that out. Um, I think I'll leave it there for this lecture tutorials and I'll continue the rest of the examples in the next series uh, of a short uh, lecture tutorial as well. Uh, where the I'll cover the rest of the examples, okay? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the button on the bottom right to subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, please share the channel widely with all your friends, your chat and study group, your juniors and your seniors from school, uh, whomever else might find these 14 to 16 years old, all level, IGCSE chemistry content is useful. And uh, follow me at ptet.chemistry. There's ptet.chemistry on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter uh, just to get connected and ask uh, questions and make queries and stuff. All right, so see you in the next lecture tutorial. Thank you for watching.